has now expanded to state government. Records show a Milwaukee County prosecutor sought personnel records from Walker's state office and another agency back in June. The prosecutor then met with a state attorney the following day. One former Walker aide has pleaded guilty to raising campaign funds while on the job in the county executive's office. Three others have been charged with felonies. The Zip and Pippin at Bay Beach Amusement Park shut down today, forcing people to evacuate. A faulty sensor is what halted the ride for two hours around 10.30 this morning. The ride's assistant manager says a safety mechanism kicked in, stopping the ride's cars when a sensor wasn't reading properly. Riders were escorted off the Zip and Pippin by the fire department. The faulty switch has been replaced, and the ride is running smoothly once again. New at 10, a lesson in texting and driving that'll give you a new perspective the next time you get your phone out behind the wheel. The AT&T Virtual Reality Texting and Driving Simulator is in Green Bay tonight, set up across from Lambeau Field at the bar on Holmgren Way. You get in a real car and follow a computer course that tracks how you drive while you text, and the results aren't pretty. NBC26's Deandra Corinthios is live at 10 with more. Now, everyone who tried out the simulator while I was there failed. I tested it and made it just about 15 seconds before going off the road, and AT&T hopes the campaign will ultimately make the roads safer. Now I want you to text, just left the beach, be there in 20 minutes. Crash and burn. That was Caitlin Schmidt's failed attempt at texting and driving safely. Is that it? Can I keep driving? Schmidt tries again, sending another text. I love Aaron Rodgers. She fails, swerving and almost hitting more cars and people. But she learns a valuable lesson. It would be a tragedy. Like you could just imagine the harm that you're doing to that person's family, you know, just because you wanted to read a text message or send a text message. That's the point AT&T is driving home. The simulator is traveling all over the Midwest. AT&T is hoping drivers will get their message. Texting and driving, it can wait. If you're texting while driving, you're 23 times more likely to be in an accident. Um, so that's uh, on a par with drunk driving. <laughs> Scott Vandersanden says many drivers, especially teens, just don't get it. He says studies show 95% of teenagers know texting and driving is dangerous, but 75% still do it. It's that 75% we're trying to address. At least one person is changing her habits. Schmidt won't be texting and driving anymore. It would just be devastating. AT&T is partnering with AAA and the Wisconsin State Patrol for the campaign. They're also asking people who test the simulator to sign a pledge not to text and drive and share that pledge with Facebook and Twitter friends to spread the message. Deandra Corinthios, NBC26. That's an eye-opener. Thanks, Deandra.